I am not seeing the movie if he's in it. And now begins the downfall of the Batman series. God, talk about really bad casting. Please, no. The Joker is a character that needs an actor with gravity, not some little twerp who got lucky. As I'm sure you probably guessed by now, I am uh, reading comments uh, that were made when Heath Ledger was first cast as the Joker for The Dark Knight and the reveal of his first photo in character. All dark and lumpy and grease paint. Because of course, if nothing else, this show is highly original. But now that same level of hatred's being thrown at Jared Leto and Ben Affleck for being cast as the Joker in the Suicide Squad and as Batman for the upcoming Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Man of Steel sequel. And you know, I can understand that you cannot please everybody, but is this really bad news? I mean, really? Let's have a look at Leto first. I mean, he is an accomplished actor, singer, songwriter, musician. Whether you like what he's done or not, it's completely up to the viewer and or listener. But you cannot deny that he's a highly creative man who's won awards for what he's done and really loves to scream into the camera. Hey, Jared, would you mind screaming into the camera for me? Yes, I can! That's great, Jared. Now can you do that in slow motion? As it's his ability to play the Joker that's being called into question, we'll have a look at his acting career. Now, no one actor creates knockout performances with everything that they do, but for every bad performance he's done, he has done several very good performances, and even in movies that have not actually performed well in the box office. And let's not forget, he also won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for the Dallas Buyers Club. So you can't really say that he's a terrible actor by any stretch. As for the approach to the Joker, yes, it's a, it's a bit of a shock initially because, you know, he's covered in tattoos and we are literally used to the palest skin ever seen. Personally, the uh, damaged tattoo on his forehead is a bit too on the nose for me. But when you think about it, every cinematic Joker so far has been a product of its times and the director's own view on the Joker himself. In a world where we have grown used to new metal and the likes of Marilyn Manson, can we really say that this design for the Joker is completely inappropriate for the 21st century? And also you've got to take into account the fact that it will actually draw money purely because of the fact that the actor himself actually has a huge fan base who are dying to see him dressed up as Marilyn Manson laughing slow motion into a camera. But going back to the tattoos, there is a little bit of creative genius going on. Uh, as you can see, there are tattoos of a smiley face on the back of one hand and the back of the other forearm, which, as other people have pointed out on Tumblr accounts already, that once he actually puts them in front of his face, they become more traditional Joker grins. We've had the comedic clown, we've had the gangster, we've had the terrorist, now we've actually got a psychopath. And thus far, these cinematic versions of the Joker build up to a small number of the many facets that have already turned up in the comic book. As for Ben Affleck, the same facts apply, really, if you think about it. He's had bad films, he's had funny films, he's had bloody great films as well. And let's not forget, he was the bomb in Phantom Joe. For starters, when it comes to being Batman, he looks bloody great in the suit. All that's really going to be in question now is whether he can actually play Bruce Wayne. So let's wait until the final product before we actually throw the babies out with the bath water, because maybe, like the late great Heath Ledger, both of these actors will really surprise us. And let's be honest, they're playing comic book characters, not King Lear. Thanks for watching live from your mother's basement. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, then you can actually hit the channel link or you can hit subscribe for all the latest updates or why not like the official live from your mother's basement Facebook page and get all of the latest updates from your Facebook timeline.